Welcome to The Fought Show on the Coil Entertainment Network. I'm Rob Steele. That's Jesus Jones in the background. And what the hell has happened to this country? Seriously, we used to take ourselves seriously. We don't anymore. We can't. How can we possibly do that with Donnie Trump in office? Seriously. I mean, the guy keeps spouting patriotism, patriotism. What was he doing during the funerals of great Americans like John McCain and Aretha Franklin? Playing golf. Did you see the pictures of him playing golf? I found them amusing because he was in grass up to his waist. Now, if you've listened to the show before, you know I hate golf. Boring as hell. And that's when you're playing it. So seriously, even I know... If the grass is up to your waist, you done f***ed up, Donnie. So you're not even doing that properly. So, yeah, you'd get no points this week. Not that you've gotten any so far anyway. I mean, the disrespect you just showed to great Americans, seriously, it just means to me that you no longer get to say s*** about anything the NFL players do. Especially the taking a knee thing. Nothing. Shut up, Don. Go back to your home planet. Anyway, more on Trump, the NFL, and the flag after these completely unrelated stories. I mentioned this on Cinema Savants earlier this week. Vanessa Marquez, who most people know from ER. The articles I've seen on this state that she died. No. No, she was killed. There's a, I'm making a difference. Died means she had cancer or something. Was in an automobile accident. No, no, the police shot her in her own home this past week. Why? Well, the reason they went to her house is because people said that she's been having issues and they would like the police to check on her to make sure she's okay. Well, when they showed up, the police say she was uncooperative and that's when she pointed a handgun at police. Although it wasn't a handgun, it was a BB gun, but it resembled a semi-automatic handgun. Yeah, well, if we didn't have guns in the hands of people at all, things like this wouldn't happen. But they do. Meanwhile, I have seen the kind of gun they're talking about, the BB gun. You know what? Even if I'm looking down the barrel of it, actually, especially if I'm looking down the barrel of it, I can tell the difference between a BB gun And, let's say, a semi-automatic handgun. You know what? I'm not a cop. And I can still do that. Perhaps the police in her area should be trained better on how to identify actual guns. Instead, this turned into another unnecessary police violence story. And we don't need any more of that. Speaking of the Cinema Savant Show, and I'm sure we'll have more on this on Sunday, there's a new movie coming out starring Ryan Gosling, where he plays Neil Armstrong. That's right, the first man on the moon. It's called First Man. How original a title is that? Anyway, First Man was released at the Venice Film Festival a couple days ago, and a lot of people said it is a spectacular movie because it follows Neil up to the moon and that's, a, I mean, that it, it's a great story. And if you don't know it, I don't know what planet you're from. Because it's taught everywhere. Even I was taught this one in school. Anyway, several U.S. conservative ass clowns, I'm sorry, did I say ass? I meant pundits, are slamming this film, calling it not just unpatriotic, but anti-American. There are people who have called it a falsification of history. These are the people who believe Trump and his false news crap. Senator Marco Rubio called it total lunacy. Really? What exactly is your problem with this film? Well, they asked the people who were complaining, and a good 90% of the people who were complaining about this movie haven't seen it yet. Oh dear. Well, that kind of, you know, takes all the air out of your argument, doesn't it? And the ones who said they did see it, They said they didn't spend enough time on the planting of the American flag on the moon bit. F*** 
the hell out of all of you. Really? That's the problem you have with it? It's not patriotic because they didn't show the planting of the flag enough. How many times do you have to see it? It's there still. It's not like someone's taken the flag. It's not like he put it in the ground and set fire to it. There's no air it can't burn. Unpatriotic. Seriously? It's about as bright as, oh, let's say Karen Smith. Do you know Karen Smith? She pleaded guilty this past week to one count of child abuse resulting in injury. Now, the reason I bring this up is it also had to do with the flag, kind of. Karen Smith used to be a teacher in the Denver area at a middle school. She seemed like she would be such a nice, lovely lady, except one of her students refused to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. So she pulled him out of his desk and beat him. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a teacher. That's a cunt. Seriously, that, there's, there's not another word for that. I mean, you'd think, as a teacher, she would be aware of the 1943 Supreme Court ruling that said students don't have to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Came from the Supreme Court. Oh dear, what did she teach? Maybe she taught math and didn't know, or biology. No, she's a f***ing history teacher. She should know better. Speaking of people who should know better, the race for the Florida governor is, it's on. I mean, they're going after each other left and right. There's a Republican named Ron DeSantis, who's a Trump fan. Go figure. And he's going after Andrew Gillum, who is the first African-American candidate for governor in the history of Florida. Good for him. Personally, I think we know. I, I don't care what color people's skin is. But, if you know, first thing, yay, good for him. Anyway, last Thursday, DeSantis said at a press conference that the last thing Florida needs is to monkey this up by electing Gillum. Monkey this up. Could that be a racial slur? Sherman set the Wayback Machine for September 5th, 1983. Yeah, some people are going to get that. Some are just going to go, huh? September 5th, 1983 was a Monday. When Howard Cosell was announcing Monday Night Football, a game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington team that will not be named on this show because it is an offensive name. In the game, the Washington team had a wide receiver named Alvin Garrett. Garrett made some spectacular catches in the game and some spectacular runs afterwards, during which Cosell, who I'm doing a poor imitation of, said of Garrett, look at that little monkey run. That's when a lot of people in the country said Howard Cosell has to be removed from Monday Night Football because that was a racial slur. Who said this? A lot of the people who are now Republican senators and congressmen and just politicians in general. Really? So this guy is allowed to say monkey because he's a Republican, but Howard Cosell, no, no, not allowed to do that because, uh, yeah, yeah, that... That makes about as much sense as this new rule the NFL has. Seriously, th this, this is a new rule. Because they're trying to protect the safety of the millionaires playing the game. I'm sorry, if you make millions of dollars, you can put up with the risks. I, I, I have no sympathy. Sorry, I just don't. Protecting younger kids, maybe up to college level, fine. NFL, no. Sorry, you, you don't get this rule. Anyway, they can't figure out the rule, which amuses me a lot. The rule is... When you're tackling a player, you are not allowed to lead with your helmet, which means you can't go head first. Now let's think about this. When have you ever seen anyone tackle anyone else without going head first? How exactly do you not go head first when tackling someone? I, I can't figure this out. I've, tr I've even gone through, you know, that thing she did in The Exorcist. You know, going down the stairs with backward... No, her head still went first. So, how exactly do you tackle without going... You know what? Screw it. Headless players. That's what we need to do. That that seems to be the problem. There's too many concussions and, oh, we can't properly cr protect their skulls and their craniums despite the big fucking helmet on their head. You know what? Headless players. Until then, shut up. 
Anyway, I said he'd be back by the end of the show, and so here he is. I was amused by Donnie Trump again this week, who, who still gets no points. Must have led with his helmet. No, he doesn't have a helmet to lead with. Anyway, Donnie said his approval rating is 90%. And no one has been able to figure out where that number came from because there is not a poll anywhere that shows his approval rating is 90%, even in his own house. I mean, that's, that's sad. But uh, I was amused at what was released by the Washington Post and ABC News, and that would be his approval rating with the African-American community. How many approve of Donald Trump in this instance? 3%. 3%. Disapprove? 97%. That means I can do math, Donnie. Unlike, you know, Donnie Deficit. That can be his new name. We're going to have a new name for him every f- week until he gets out of office, and then we can just call him Dick. Donnie Deficit has brought the national deficit into the trillions of dollars. You know, ju- just because deficit starts with the same letter as, you know, your name, deficit, Donald, just because they start with the same letter doesn't make it a good thing. Nevertheless, and I'd love to be making this up, he declared at his rally in Evansville that he has succeeded in making America great again. Great at what? Not a clue. And he doesn't know either. If you have any ideas, let me know. Contact me through the website, thefwatshow.com, where you'll find buttons for Facebook and Twitter and iTunes and the Google Play Store and YouTube so you can subscribe to the show, which would be a good thing. You'll also find a button. It's a little shopping basket. It takes you to the FWAT shop where you can buy a t-shirt or a hat or a coffee mug. It'll all go to support the Coil Entertainment Network, and we appreciate your support. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with the final thing with Donnie Trump coloring the American flag at the school. I mentioned that in the last show. Apparently, MSNBC found some extra footage because really all we got was him coloring those four stripes of the flag, red, white, white, and blue, which is wrong. Well, MSNBC found some more footage showing Trump coloring one of those two stripes that were white in a row. Yeah, he was coloring it brown. Don't believe me? Find the footage. It's online. It's sad. Hashtag sad. Just like Donnie Trump himself. Meanwhile, I want you to not be sad. Go out and have a good week. Come back on Friday for the Cinema Savant Review Show or on Sunday for the Cinema Savant's News Show. I'm sure we'll have a witching hour sometime soon coming up. Or even if you go back to the football thing, leave Al and Kevin Daggett doing the 12th Man Rising Seahawks show all about the Seattle Seahawks football team. They should be back this week too. So check that out. Coil.us, C-O-Y-L dot U-S. How hard is that? Go have a good week and I'll see you next time.